Okay, testing audio. Alright, sounds pretty good in my headphones. Alright, we are getting set up, everyone. Make yourselves at home, we will begin momentarily. All right, well, we've been live for about five minutes. Might be time we get started. <clears throat> so, where we last left off, Cloud uh, fell from a very high place and crashed through the ceiling, or through the roof of Aerith's church. Um, he met Aerith, 
and he met Reno um, after embarrassing Reno. Um, well, after embarrassing myself because of how many times it took me to beat Reno. Um, he uh, <clears throat> he ventured on into Sector 5. Or wherever Aerith lives. I think it's Sector 5. Um, where he, where we went around and did all the good deeds we possibly could so that Aerith gets the best dress. Um, <clears throat> once we did that, we... Um, we went back to Aerith's house um, and met her mom, only for her mom to tell Cloud to leave. And um, after leaving, Cloud goes through Sector 4 to get to Sector 7, um, when who else but Aerith comes up and goes, Hey, why are you leaving without saying goodbye? And Cloud doesn't tell her that her mom told him to leave. Um, and so... We are venturing now into Chapter 9. I think that about summarizes it. Um, <clears throat> so sorry for the delay. Um, Fire Emblem and Gage came out, and Rika and I um, picked up our copies of that. Um, and that evening, while we were at the train station, um, a gentleman came up and harassed us for things like using our phones or asking for cigarettes or asking for gum. Um, well, that gentleman was coughing. And um, a few days later, we were coughing. And the long and short of this story is that we caught COVID-19 and it was not fun. That, um, we've dodged it for three years, we're both fully vaxxed and boosted. Um, but, <clears throat> having COVID sucked. Um, it's not the sickest I've ever been. I would say, well, at least, you know, as far as I can remember, I mean, when I was two years old, I had pneumonia. Um, but I, ha I have no recollection of what that's like. However... Um, this is the sickest I can, um, I can remember being, um, or second sickest. The first was when I caught swine flu back in 2009. Anyways, um, so, f um, for a few weeks, um, I was unable to speak without coughing every few words. Um, sometimes even, you know, I try to say one word and I would just start sputtering and coughing and all that fun stuff um but regardless you know that was what three weeks ago now that was the end of january that we were sick with covid um or second to last week of january so we're better now um i can speak without um without falling into a coughing fit um i do have to stop to cough um every once in a while but hopefully that too will clear up um, you know, like I said, we're both fully vaccinated and boosted, and I am certain that that is what made COVID not suck so badly for us. Anyways, barring all of that, we're here. Um, we are back. It is time to play some Final Fantasy VII Remake. We're here, we're queer, and we have no fear because we conquered, you know, COVID-19. I really want to play Intermission, but <clears throat> we are just going to pick up where we left off. Um, that extended intro was, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for, Riki? I was, um, oh, right. That was me stalling. I was trying to stall for time, uh, Hoping to uh, to get a few more people in chat before we begin. Um, however, we've been going for 10 minutes now. The show must go on. Um, Aubrey should hopefully be here soon. Um, she has seen me play the beginning of this chapter plenty of times while I was grinding to get trophies. So um, I don't feel too terribly bad about at least getting started without her here. Oh. 
Well, look who it is. Talk about a coincidence. What are you doing here? Waiting. Why? Because I'm not sick of you yet. <clears throat> Lead on, then. With pleasure. Cloud? Is something wrong? It's nothing. Okay, here we go. Oh, look how pretty Cloud is with his little Noctis face. They really gave Aerith a glow up for this game, though. They made her, like, super pretty. Anyways, onward we go. You can see the sky. They're still working on the new plate. I don't like this part of Midgar. Back when yeah. they were still building Midgar, there was an accident, and the plate fell. People had only just started moving in, so there weren't a lot living there at the time, but... How's it going, Koopo? And that's? The underside of Sector 6, Wall Market. A real special place. But I'm sure you already knew that. Right? I didn't tell you? I enlisted pretty much right after I left home. I don't know much about this place, or any of the slums. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Well, it took a lot of people to build Midgar, and they all needed to blow off steam. So some traders built an entertainment district. Inns, shops, bars, the works. Folks started pouring in from all over. Business was booming. Money was flowing, which attracted the attention of some guys who didn't much care for the law. And now there isn't any. Right. But instead of trying to solve the problem, the government decided to just wall it in. And that's how Wall Market began. Out of sight, out of mind, as the old saying goes. For the folks in charge, there's no better way to deal with it. So it's like a giant veil. Yeah. Want to see what's behind it? Not really. That's good. Because I know a better way to get to Sector 7. One that, tragically, doesn't go through Wall Market. And it's just through this tunnel here. At least it was, back when I was a kid. Huh. What do you mean by this, Aerith? Could it be that Aerith is purposely taking me on a wild goose chase? It's been like this, you know, ever since the plate fell. And there's no other way? It'll be an adventure. All right. Oh. Well. Get him! I, uh, that didn't give me time to, uh, to change my materia. I should, I should have known. Let's be fair. Okay, um, I think ice and wind are going to come in handy for a long time in this place. 
Okay, I think I think for those things I want wind. So let's find some wind materia. There we go. Uh, well, this is a good. Ha! Yep. I was right, we want wind. This one's for you! I'm glad that's over. What's that? A big arm. Kinda cute, don't you think? Uh. I don't know if cute is the word I'd use, Aerith. Oh great! Someone's pulled up the ladder! I wonder if we can use this. It's this way! Yeah, that wouldn't surprise me. Here's an idea. I'll hop on and you give me a ride. You serious? Absolutely! I'll throw down the ladder for you to climb up after! It would not surprise me if Aerith keeps spiders. <sighs> I bet you she has a tarantula. Hey Strobe, how's it going? Too bright? That's it. Oh, that's weird. <clears throat> well, thank you, mods. Uh, we are in desperate need of some cure here. Nice. <clears throat> Yo, how is the Mexican food in, um, in Arizona? Nice. Yeah, California has real good Mexican food, but... I bet you places like Arizona and New Mexico have real good Mexican food too. Yeah, that's the good shit. Oh, I'm carrying too many high potions. I'm half Mexican and I don't even know how to make good Mexican food. It's real sad. 
doesn't count. <clears throat> like, I can make adequate tacos, but my mom and my aunt do it so much better. And even, like, when I replicate... Oh, that's cool. Yeah, even when I replicate, like, my mom's recipe, like, exactly, it never comes out correctly. Seriously. I do have meltdowns when I can't get the family recipe right. Yes. Here goes. Um, they're actually they're they're like seahorses, but they do like a a weird spinning blade attack. <laughs> Non-binary pills. <laughs> Don't tell me I just got turned. I just got turned around. Um. So. You don't have to switch- well, no, there are times where, like, Cloud will be, like, pinned or trapped by an enemy or something. Um, and then like you have to switch- end. you have to switch party members to, um, to rectify that. Or you can wait for one of the AIs to save you, but, um, it doesn't really work. Yeah, for real! Also, hi, Obs. Good to see you. I got turned around somewhere. Yeah, too much salt is really sad. I did I did that once while while trying to make tacos. Leave this to me. I don't think so. Oh fuck me. Don't overdo it. I should probably go <sighs> up first. No need to panic. <clears throat> now I'm just gonna ha I'm gonna have Aerith be rude. That is not the way I want to go. That's the way I just came from. Oh, I just got super... Fuck. <laughs> what did I do? How embarrassing. <laughs> not even half an hour into the stream. And I got lost walking in a straight line. Hmm. <clears throat> oh, hey, look. A ladder. Wait, this is the- this is the way we came. This is the way we came. <laughs> um... <clears throat> How is everyone's Friday?
Oh, me too. Yeah. Thank the gods it's Friday. You know, I am very embarrassed by um, having gotten turned around here, and I really hope there aren't any new people in the chat. I mean, like, if you if if, if you're new and you're um, <clears throat> if you're new and you're watching, welcome. Hey, I went the right way the first time. Who knew? Hey, I bet you can <laughs> grab that container with the arm. Not half bad. So do you moonlight as a crane operator or something? Yeah? Huh? Uh, huh. <sighs> oh no, look. Why is it always gotta be so tough? Lucky for me, you'll make this easier. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, absolutely. No cuts to make it look like I uh, I did it right the I'm first time. Down. Nope. Oops. Okay, Cloud. Ready. Uh oh. I had the prop to place the con the container. There we go. Yeah, for real. Especially with reversible opposable thumbs. Oh, wait, actually. Okay, well. That was worth a shot. <clears throat> but I think there was like a materia or something over there the first time. And I already have it. Oh yeah. Anyways, um, I did um, I did some stuff between streams, and um, okay, the Buster right Sword is now our strongest weapon. Hold on while I drop the ladder. So we'll be using the Buster Sword from here on. You know, the best one. I actually did it between streams last time, um, but, <clears throat> you know. Oh, a bench. Wait, no. Well, jumping's not an option, that's for sure. Hmm. Look. Hmm? Someone made a campfire. They found a way down. So can we. That's a fresh campfire too. It was still smoldering. Anyways, let's uh Let's recover our HP. Get back. I can fight too, you know. Oh, I want wind for these. I used to be way better at predicting these encounters. But I mean, also in my defense, it's been really nice since I last played. So. One more shot! 
Anyways, I believe a few streams ago we discussed um, possibly streaming the original Final Fantasy VII um, once I'm done with this one in preparation for Rebirth. Um, I might actually stream like Fire Emblem or something instead. Um, oh, for sure I'm going to stream Signalis at some point because um, my very good friend Yoder um, is interested in that game, but he cannot play horror games. So he wants me to stream it for him so that he doesn't have to experience the horror firsthand. Uh, <sighs> I'm, uh, I'm a little rusty. Uh, Signalis. It's um, it's one of them indie Whoa, horrors. Not too fast, okay? Got it. Oh, there are mice. Yeah. Yeah, pretty funky. Maybe the real. Signalis was the friends we made along the way. Okay, there's going to be a human fight coming up here. So, I'm going to switch to fire materia. Guess it's just us. Hmm. It's still warm. Should we relight it? Have our own campfire? <laughs> I need to get back. Besides... Looky here, boys! Caught us some burglars! Coming into our homes and stealing our shit? Doing crimes? <laughs> I'd say we're owed compensatory damages! <laughs> Can't put them in a, a composite... I don't get it! Ah, how stupid can you be? It's crazy simple! <laughs> compensatory damages is yeah. like... Uh, it's like compensation... For damages! Oh yeah! <laughs> That's what you get when you... No, when somebody else... We uh, haven't done anything wrong. Yeah, we were just passing through. Oh, a likely story. <laughs> okay, what do you want? Nothing but our due recompense, that's all. <laughs> due recompense, due recompense, due... Do recompense? Uh, no shit for brains, due recompense. It's like, uh, uh, it's like, uh, 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 Compensatory damages. Of course, so I knew that. It's recompense. I, <laughs> I think we've heard enough. Okay. <laughs> Oh, I got stunned. And they stole 121 gil. Oh, the nerve of them. Oh, I have to switch to Aerith. So it's my turn? Now, with Aerith, I can be really mean. Hey, Riki, should I be mean with Aerith? Come on. Whatever. Need more magic. We'll be mean. You're burning up. So if you guys recall, if you cast a spell from within this um, this field, um, you get a second cast for free. This is gonna hurt. Okay, guys, whatever you do, don't move. Don't look. Just don't look. I'm dead. I'm super dead. <laughs> Look, I really love stupid characters like that. I apologize if you hear a cat in the background. Get the hell out of here! Wait, you guys! Don't leave me! I'm coming! 
I apologize if you hear a cat in the background. Um, <clears throat> after um. Question, but why did you quit being a soldier? That is random. You don't have to tell me if you don't want to. Oh. Um, did you have any soldier friends? Any war buddies? No, not really. Oh, okay. After Blitz had his accident, um, we had to put him on a feeding schedule because he has to eat special food that's very expensive and hard to find. Um, and Olive hates being on a feeding schedule, but we can't let him eat her food, and we can't, um, we can't let, we can't waste his food on her. So unfortunately, um, that's just the way it is. Need a breather. I'll show you what I can do. I'm waiting. So her feeding time is in 23 minutes, but um, she will start screaming about two hours before meal time, thinking that she is going to die of starvation. Oh, Cloud's dead. Oops. Too bright. This time. I could have done better than that. Let's get a cure. Okay. Okay, we need something stronger than a cure, apparently. There we go. Aerith, why don't you cure yourself too? <clears throat> Excuse me. Stupid ladders, always out of reach. Okay, Cloud, heading down. You're in charge of the arm. Got it? I'm trying to mute when I have to cough or clear my throat so I don't like annoy anyone or, you know, rupture eardrums. Playing crane simulator. Oops, can't go that way apparently. Well, yeah, I mean, <clears throat> I have bottled water that I could grab. I'm fine for now, just, you know. It certainly is. I have never seen a crane game that uses a hand-shaped crane before. Okay, there we go. So yeah, if you're hearing in the background, that's why. Oh wait, wait. Oh wait, no. No, I have to go move to the other crane now. No, I want to leave her here. So what I really want to know is what happens if you have two people operating these things at the same time? Okay, here we go. Now... Oh, wait, 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 no. I don't think I can put Aerith down on top of this. But I can't put it down there because there's like debris in the way. Oh, 
Oh, wait a second. I don't think I want to offer her a ride. Maybe I do. Yeah, it does. <sighs> the actual chapter 9 starts once we get to wall market. We're just in the weird prologue. Oh, I can't switch arms while she's... Okay. I can't switch arms while she's sitting on top of this one. I thought I had to, like, pass her between the arms, but that is not what you have to do. Rinky, she's chewing on something. Okay, what am I supposed to do here? Okay. That's what I thought, but... I'm missing a piece of the puzzle here. Ah. <clears throat> Curse my sleepy brain. I had a long day at work today. Okay, maybe I just... Maybe I'm overthinking it. Maybe I... Oh wait, I can't just offer her a ride. doing incorrectly here. Oh, I am so embarrassed. I have pl I've played this chapter so many times and I am just completely blanking on what I'm supposed to do here. Okay, putting it down isn't going to work. <clears throat> but I can't pick her up from there. Okay, hang on. Let's, uh... Yes, game... Oh! <clears throat> I don't want to... <clears throat> Wait, okay. It says try stacking the containers. That means I would have to put the other one down. Or put the first one somewhere accessible, but it's not letting me pick it up because Aerith's there. <laughs> What am I doing wrong? You're smart. <laughs> Terribly sorry, everyone. She does, yeah. But it wants me to stack the containers, and I don't have a way to get that one here. Uh... I can only put it down in areas that are framed in yellow.
So I'm trying to put it here, right? But it doesn't it doesn't want me to. The only place between the two arms that has a yellow frame is this spot right here, but this crane doesn't want to go down that low. So I think I think the other one has to go down first, but it's not it's not giving me the prompt to pick up the you know what I have to do? You know what I have to do? <clears throat> I have to bring Aerith back over here. Cause it's not going to let me pick this up if Aerith is over here. So I moved Aerith too soon. That's what I did wrong. Okay, so I have to set Aerith down here first. Because the game doesn't trust that cloud can... <coughs> Aww. He wants to raise the tuna tags. Aww. Okay, yep, that's what it was. <clears throat> I moved Aerith too soon. Okay, we're back in business. I wish I liked tuna. I only like tuna on sushi. It's this way. I like I can't eat a tuna sandwich. Yeah, oh, I haven't had sushi in so long. No, actually, believe it or not, it did not. And I 100% think that that's because we were fully vaccine boosted. Thanks for the lift. I'll have that ladder down for you in a sec. Yeah, for real. I was actually really worried about that because um. A fr when when a friend of mine got COVID, um, he lost both his sense of taste and smell, and they didn't come back for like months. But thankfully, um, that did not happen. Oh my God! Oh. That went pretty well. Sure did. Uh. Oh, he tried. Wait a minute. Did you just... Nope. Don't worry. We'll be on the same page next time. What are you talking about? I'm sorry, okay? <laughs> Hold it right there, lovebird! <laughs> you wanna pass through our territory? You gotta pay the toll. Enough. Here goes. 
Oh, whoops, I did not mean to cast Faraga. We made it! Smell the fresh air? The most painful QTE in the game is coming up. Cloud, up top. Here it is. You have to hold the button for so long for for him to do this. <laughs> but he did it. He high fived her. Hooray! <clears throat> Cloud learned how to express being human. All right, there it is. The gate to Sector 7. Looks shut. How do we open it? More importantly, how about we take a break? Sound good? No. I don't have time Up for... there looks nice. <sighs> Come on! It's real fucked up if you know where this is. <laughs> you know, a long time ago, I used to sell flowers here. Oh yeah? Cloud, you were a soldier first class, right? Yeah. Weird. Really? What's weird about it? Nothing. Just that you were the same rank. Huh? As who? The first guy I ever loved. Rika sobbing in the chair. Uh. What's his name? I probably know him. Like five feet away from me. Uh, are you okay? Uh. Wow. Uh. Your eyes. Oh. It's because of the Mako. All soldiers have them. Yeah, I know. Sorry, I'm bumming you out. We should go. <sighs> Gotta look forward, not back. All right, so... Do you guys remember what outfit we picked for Tifa? <clears throat> Rika or Obs? I think. <clears throat> yeah, I Here. think we chose the exotic outfit, if I remember correctly. I think that's this the one Obs picked. Long. Want to get to Sector 7 in style? This is the passageway for you. So... <laughs> Go ahead. You gonna be okay getting home? And if I said I wasn't? I'll go with you. I thought you needed to get back. <laughs> Don't worry. I have a backup route for emergencies. And it's safer, too. We, uh, we could have done that. <laughs> Guess this is it, then. Ready? Yeah.
All right, moment of truth. Let's see. Sequel? Yep, it's the exotic one. Cloud, you're alive. I thought we'd lost you. What's going on? Shh. I'll explain everything later. But now I'm on my way to see Don Corneo. You should head back to Seventh Heaven. Meet up with the gang. But... I'll be fine. You've seen how much ass I can kick? I have. Yeah. Yeah. Oh no you don't. You're going after her. She's a big girl. She can handle the likes of him and worse. Uh-uh. You don't know Corneo. It doesn't matter how strong or smart you think you are. He'll find a way to turn it against you. And where is she going to meet him? A mansion filled with his goons. Come on, aren't you worried what might happen in there? You have to help her. Come on! Okay. Okay. So now... <clears throat> now we're in real Chapter 9. And so I picked, um, or Ob's picked Tifa's dress, Rika picked Aerith's dress, and I picked the final outfit we're going, or the final new outfit we're going to see in this chapter. So I have to actually make sure that I'm playing my cards right so that we get the right one. So give me one quick second. to a girl earlier. Do you have any idea where she went? No, and if you don't need a ride, then get the hell out of here. Can't you see I'm trying to work? Can't say I can, no. What'd you say to me, you little... What's all the rubbish out here? Hmm. I don't know you. What's your story? We're looking for a girl who took one of your carriages. Can you help us find her? Depends. What do you want with this girl of yours? Guess. We want to save... Save her from a life without this handsome guy. Huh? So, that's how it is, huh? Well, I get a lot of customers. Hard to keep track of them all. This girl, what's she look like? Well... Okay. So, unfortunately, in order to get the outfit that we want, we have to objectify Tifa. She's in great shape. Is that really important? Wait a minute. You talking about Tifa? That's her. <laughs> oh, looks like someone's got a bit of a crush. Hate to break your heart, kid, but it's gonna be a long while before she sees the light of day again. What do you mean? She's a real pretty girl. Corneo's hosting another audition, and Tifa was chosen as a candidate. An audition for what? For the title of the next Mrs. Corneo. She's what he likes all rolled into one sweet package. Having scouted girls for so long, I know his taste better than my own. And considering those tastes, I can guarantee you this. She won't be walking out of that mansion anytime soon. If at all. So where can we find this Don Corneo? <laughs> what are you asking for? Thinking of raising holy hell or something? Do what you gotta, but leave me out of it. I told you what you want to know. Now take a walk. Uh, and there goes our best lead yet. <clears throat> Maybe we'll have better luck in town. Let's check it out. All right. I love 
Walmart. Welcome to Walmart, the pleasure capital of Midgar that's got everything for everybody. Couple, huh? It's all good. Play together, do your own thing, earn a little scratch on the side, even whatever you're into, we got you. Got a special one time limited offer. No, thank you. Come on, Cloud, let's go. Oh, if only I could do that with the solicitors who come to our door. So Wall Market, like, like, so last time I played, I talked about how, like, oh, hey. Last time I played this, I talked about how, like, the, um, the Sector 5 slums look like shit. Um, this really looks like shit. Like, it looks lived in, and it looks grimy. And it looks like this is where poor people come to, like, have a night on the town. Which it is. Uh, to enter or not to enter, that is the question. Wherefore does this philosophical quandary torment me? You totally get where I'm coming from, right? Alright, so... Do we agree with Johnny? To enter or not to enter? Is that really the question? <laughs> I knew it! Let me guess. After you've had your fun, you fall into a spiral of shame and self-loathing. But it only lasts a moment, doesn't it? Next thing you know, you're right back here again. Huh? Got a question for me? Seen Tifa around? Tifa? My love? My light? Who are you and how do you know her? No, shut up. I don't care. Tifa's here? Why? Tell me why! Oh god, no. I did this to her, didn't I? She came looking for me to beg me not to leave her. <gasps> Snap out of it, Johnny. Your Tifa needs you! Tifa, I'm coming, baby! Who was that? Nobody you want or need to know. <laughs> Okay, cool. So that was also important in getting the dress that we want for Cloud. I used to actually know this um, know this place pretty well. It's very labyrinthine, um, but I spent so much time replaying this chapter for reasons that will become obvious towards the end um, that I actually once knew my way around really well. Oh, I got barrier. Uh, that scent. I can't stand it. Someone is not having a good night in Wall Market. That can that comes with the summoning materia ice cream. You have a nice answer, don't you? Let's see if I can remember my way around. And it was really funny because um, I knew my way around at nighttime specifically because it's nighttime in this chapter. You come back during the day later, and for the life of me, I could not find anything. It was really pretty funny. <gasps> what? Uh. <laughs> You're the one who had the weird reaction to me, so, uh... Gotta stay sharp, though. Lifetime bands are lifetime bands. Yeah. Oh, that's right, that was the teacher. My apologies, sir. We are not ready to open at this time. Well, that's where we're going to come for the best part of the chapter. Okay, let's... I never made the connection that the teacher works at the Honey Bee Inn. Is Andrea your boyfriend? Even if you love the artist, you don't need more than one copy. 
Oh. Uh, we're about to meet Rika's boyfriend, actually. Okay, that tracks. We are about to meet, um... Hey, Obs, are you still in here? Check it out. I think we might have found our man. And he's a gaudy one. Yeah. Okay. We're about to meet Rika's favorite character in the game. This is this is her this is her boyfriend for Final Fantasy VII Remake. Um, and when you see his face, tell me if he reminds you of anyone. He's that guy in the middle with the um <clears throat> He's that guy in the middle, his name is Leslie. But when we see him, tell me if he reminds you of anyone. Like his face specifically. Not so fast, buddy. Back it up. Got no need for pretty boys here. We're looking for someone. Let me guess. First time in Wall Market. Yeah? So? So people can't just walk through the Don's front door. Especially men. How about me then? Can I go inside? Maybe. But you're gonna wish you didn't. You know Leslie? She's kinda cute! Homely, but cute. Excuse you? Kinda cute's not gonna cut it. Come on. Can't you help us out? Do you have any idea what you're getting yourself into? Aerith. Seriously, Les, she's not half bad. With a little work, I bet she'd clean up real nice. Cloud, requesting permission to kill. Denied. <sighs> if you're really sure you want to join an audition, then you're going to need to get official approval. And who can give us that? The trio. The only ones in town who are considered authorities on Corneo's particular tastes. First, there's Chocobo Sam, and then there's Madame M over at the massage parlor. Last but not least, there's the Honeybee Inn's Andrea Rodea. They're an eccentric bunch, to put it mildly. And you should know they don't recommend just any girl stupid enough to come knocking. Hmm. Duly noted. Thanks for the info. We'll be back soon. Yes, Obs. You do just need to change your hair, his hair color in your head. Just make his hair black in your head. <laughs> yeah, and that's why he's Rika's boyfriend. They also, I mean, they they. So he, it's Noctis's head model, right? That's that's just Noctis Lucius Calum. Um, they they did the, they did the same thing, yeah, for real. Um, they also used Noctis's mesh for Cloud's face, but they changed it more. Yeah, I know. And I mean, Leslie's a cool guy. You get to know him later in the game. He's really neat. But like, just the fact that they used Noctis's face um, face mesh twice is. Thanks, Nomura. Very cool. Okay, anyways, yeah, I love Madam M. We're um we're gonna have to go see her actually, um, in order to um to get the dress we want. <laughs> yep. And I mean granted, Nomura um Nomura did design Noctis, so you know, if anyone has the right to use the character, it's it's him. Aerith. You sure about this? If you've got any better ideas. Not really. So that's the way it is. Tifa's been invited into the Don's estate. Huh? But to earn such a privilege, you must first win the approval of one of the trio. Right? Meaning, I now know what I must do to save her. Stay strong, Tifa! Help is on the way! Johnny's coming, baby! <laughs> I'm actually real Not excited the sharpest for sharpest tool in the shed, is he? Nope. I'm actually really excited for the notion that Nomura will get to properly make Versus 13 in um in Kingdom Hearts. Um, because Final Fantasy 15 
did not turn out the way Nomura wanted it to. Um, and then Hajime Tabata, who, you know, took over for Nomura after he left the project, um, ended up quitting Squeenix, so we didn't even get to see Hajime Tabata's entire, um, entire vision either. They had, like, th there was, like, true ending DLC and everything coming out. It got turned into a book instead. <clears throat> Rika still maintains that she's going to go back and finish 15 on stream someday, but... Yeah, I know. I know, we could have had something amazing! Let's see... Uh, so... We're going to go to Sam, I believe. Oh. Well, this is the honeybee. You wait out here, okay? And why would I do that? No, I'm coming with. I'm not really sure that. You're a man of many talents, but talking isn't one of them. Yeah, exactly. Instead, people talk about 15 for how incomplete and bad it is. Hey, uh. Welcome to the heart and soul of Wall Market, the Honey Bee Inn. Is there a honey boy or girl whose company you desire? Uh, we're here to see Andrea Rodea. Ah, the shining star of the Honey Bee Inn. Now, are you the one who made the appointment, sir? Can I have your name? Oh, we don't have an appointment. I see. I'm terribly sorry, sir. An appointment is required, and the earliest available slot is three years from now. Three years? All we want is five minutes. He can spare that. I need his help for the Corneo audition. Yes, well, regardless of the circumstances, you cannot meet him without an appointment. Is there really no other way? It is rare, but Mr. Rodea does occasionally extend invitations to individuals who catch his eye. Otherwise, I'm sorry, but there really is nothing that can be done. I guess that's that then. Oh well, let's try someone else. Oh, we're gonna catch Andrea's eye, all right. Yeah, I know. And like, but I, I, I feel that fucking customer service voice he was putting on. Oh wait, is that Chadley? Hey, it's Chadley! If there's anything you require, please do not hesitate to ask. Cloud, I... I do hope you won't forget about me. Can I get the old you, like a piping hot you know, I could see it. Jeez, Johnny, calm down. <clears throat> Is the guy from Shameless also the guy from um, We're the Millers? Not you two again. Told you once, I'll tell you a thousand times. Got nothing for you. Now scram. Wait, here's out. You're one of the trio, right? I want you to get me into the audition. Huh? Pretty, please? Why not? Really? Sure. Next time an audition comes around, I'll put your name in the hat. Next time will be too late. Can't you get me into this one? You want in now? No can do, sweetheart. Hardy recommended Tifa, and she's got this in the bag. How can you be so sure Corneo will pick Tifa? You never know, he might pick me. Damn, you really do want in, don't you? Sure do. Yeah, I think... Then, how's about we play for it? Call it, Missy. Heads or tails? I am thinking of Will Poulter, you're That's right. right. 
He reminded me of Will Poulter a lot. Yes, <clears throat> and you'll leave me in peace. All right, chat. Heads or tails? All right, I got a heads. Got two heads. Riki, heads or tails? I have two heads and one tails. We're going heads. Heads. Tail. You lose. I think you lose no matter what. Hey, don't look so glum. You're a pretty enough gal. Just not quite Cornell's cup of tea. But if only the Don will do. Try convincing one of the other two. That's why it's a trio, not just the Mio. Now skedaddle. Okay, Wait. let's see. Mind if I see that coin of yours? Hmm. <sighs> Trip coin. <laughs> I had a hunch. Cheating. And that's the wall market way. Lesson learned. Still cheating. Okay, so we have to do Johnny's entire side quest line. I like how he just, no matter what you choose, he lies to you and says it's the opposite. Hey, I'm talking to you. I said they're good. Try one. Okay. If we go down, that takes us to the Honeybee Inn. But we're not trying to go there right now. We have to go find really hard to find pet food like tomorrow probably. Marlena's the greatest honey girl there ever was. It's an undisputed. Guess who got my insurance premium? That, that does it. Just leave me alone. What's that now? You'd like to submit a complaint about our monster insurance coverage? Speak up. Are you dissatisfied with our service? This isn't insurance. It's a scam. What kind of contract is this? It's always best to be prepared for the worst, wouldn't you agree? Thanks. I wanted to get to that chest back there, but I guess oh, I can't. You might want to sign up for disability insurance. Like now. I can get you enrolled in a plan right away. What do you say? <laughs> Forget about monsters. It's people we ought to be scared of. Well, there's no getting through. No, no way! You've lost your marbles, man! My marbles are secure, sir. Tis you who are crazy. Anyways, yeah, thank you. <clears throat> it's he said we can go get it at like a Petco or PetSmart or like any any pet specific store. But the problem is when we were checking inventory in our local stores online, they said they were sold out. Granted, it's prescription food, so you have to have a prescription to even buy it. So maybe that's why it shows sold out online, but. I don't know. Excuse me. Oh wait, we can't go there yet. It might be, but I have phone anxiety. It's really funny to say that because I worked in a call center for four years, but I have bad phone anxiety. <laughs> Like, I can talk to people in person, no sweat, but if I'm calling someone on the phone, that's, like, scary. I can't talk to him after his meltdown. Oh wait, can I? 
Oh, Johnny's been had. She's a siren, I tell you. Yeah, phone phone calls are the Wait, worst. Hell. Oh, Johnny's been had. She's a siren, I tell you. This is Yuri Lowenthal, by the way. Wait, Gil. I love him in this role so much. This must be the place. Welcome, welcome. Just the two of you? Step right up. Now then, what manner of massage do you desire? Say what? Is this your first time in our establishment? Mm hmm We are a hand massage parlor. An excess of fatigue and tension can make even the simplest task a terrible strain. It is our pleasure to relieve our patrons of that tension. <laughs> And what better way to seek relief than through the skilled ministrations of a professional? So now that we understand each other, what manner of massage do you desire? We're not customers. Then you are... Hoping you can help us get an invite to an audition with oh, Don... Oh, love of... Say another word and I'll shove this fan right down your throat. Oh. Uh. Ugh, this is the last thing I need. You're young and stupid, and I suppose that means you think I'll let you off easy. So, you want what? A favor? Well, here's the thing. This is a massage parlor, a respectable establishment. But if you don't require our services... Then tell me! Is there any reason I shouldn't have you dragged outside and shot for wasting my valuable time? Well... Hmm... Name? Cloud Strife. Hand. Huh? Give it to me! <sighs> the strong, firm hands of a fighter. Yet they possess a certain elegance and grace. <sighs> okay, Cloud. Let's see what you're made of. After that, we'll talk. So, which course will it be? Okay, so I really want to show you the luxury course because the luxury course is the funniest one. But in order to get um, the dress that I want, we have to choose the poor man's course. Um, because if you choose either of the other two, it puts you... Um, each one of these puts you on the course for a different dress. And so for the dress that I want, we have to go to the bottom one. <sighs> Anyways, yeah. So, sadly, we can't look at the luxury course right now. Um, that's the funniest one. Um, I'm stalling because Rika needs to sit down so that she can see the cutscene. <clears throat> but she's picking she's she's picking out the next book in the series she's reading because she's reading books instead of watching my fucking stream and being a supportive partner. <laughs> I love you. Yeah, beauty is pain. I'm here I am pretending I don't do the same thing while she's streaming. Okay, we're gonna go with the poor man's course. your way to the room in the back and wait cloud i should warn you this technique has certain risks huh it's somewhat experimental you may find it extremely pleasurable and rewarding or the opposite uh, wait absolutely not you asked for this now take it like a man <laughs> No! 
Everything hurts. You'll enjoy it more next time. Do come again. How was it? Not now. Maybe not ever. Did something happen to you in there? Just... just give me a sec. Just one? Maybe a few minutes. We get to play as Aerith while Cloud um, gets over his um, his traumatic later? experience. All right then. I think I've seen everything I need to see. So, tell me what you want, and we'll take it from there. You're one of the trio, right? I want to get into Corneo's next audition. And why in the world would you want to do that? Hmm... Okay. Really? But, you cannot go dress like that. Huh? I could never send Corneo a candidate wearing such a plain-looking getup. Doing so would call my position as one of the trio into question. Please, I love Aerith's Is outfit. Is something wrong with my outfit? <clears throat> Should we be nice to Aerith? Alright, we'll... No. We'll say it, it looks comfortable. It's comfortable, isn't it? Cloud the fashion critic. Look, just take it outside the parlor, would you? Sorry, we'll stop. So, what should I do about the outfit? <laughs> you just leave that to me. I'll put you in a dress so fabulous, you'll look like a million gill. So long as you can afford it. How much? What I said. But don't worry. It's obvious you can't afford a dress with that kind of price tag. So listen, I have an idea. Uh. There's an underground coliseum in this town. Up for a fight, Cloud? Good. Because I'm getting you into that arena. If you win the tournament, I'll transform Aerith into a drop-dead gorgeous beauty. There any prize money? <laughs> yes, for the person who got you in. So, what do you say? All right. That's what I like to hear. You'll need this. They're already letting fighters inside. You should hurry. Run along. I would actually love to wear an outfit like Aerith's. Like, even her outfit got a major glow up in this game. I love all the little details. I love the change of her boots from from brown to black. I love I love that she has that little belt hanging down now. I love the stupid buckles at her um, at the end of her sleeves. What have we gotten ourselves into? Nothing good. I wouldn't expect a fair fight in this town. Okay. That's one thing I'm definitely sure of. I appreciate the confidence, just don't get too cocky, okay? <laughs> so, this part kinda low-key, high-key sucks. I'm not gonna lie. And in hard mode, it's going to suck even more, but after this, we get to, um... After this, we have to do some side quests, and then we get to do the best. Um, we get to do um, the the best part of the game. What's this? You're here to compete. <laughs> I hope you know you're cutting it really close. So the two of you are a team. Team? No, it's just me. Yes, the two of us are a team. I need to get into that audition, but I won't let anyone else fight my battles for me. That includes you, Mister. All right, team it is. Head to the waiting area down below. I swear if I down, miss something, down, down we go. 
if I miss something and it prevents uh, us from getting the, the dress, I'm gonna be mad. I mean, the outfit, excuse me. I, <clears throat> I did not say dress. Hey, you're not nervous, are you? Nope. Really? You're even more quiet than usual. Just trying to focus, like you should. <laughs> Damn, dude. Okay, <clears throat> round one, I think, is hey, humans. Over here. In the city that never sleeps, in the paradise of debauchery and sin, the pain and pleasure, where your every desire can be indulged for the right price. All must be esteemed connoisseurs of chaos and bloodshed. We bid you the warmest of welcomes. Are you sitting comfortably? Or tonight, the most gruesome spectacle anywhere in Walmart or beyond shall be yours to witness. Here oh, Spoon, you're just in time. We're getting to the meat of the chapter. Tonight's grand prize is no less than one million gold. There is only one way hey, it's to Leslie. brutalize your opponents. Early and utterly, viciously, without mercy, until they vomit black. Only the most ruthless fighters, the savages still standing here at the end, shall claim the kill and the glory. And now, the one who went in a vision with the blood star feet will battle for your amusement in the corner! Warriors of every shape and size will fight to the death before your very eyes in tonight's Corneo Time! This place is really something. Okay. You two, wait here until it's time. Cool. I have to go talk to that dude first, I think. Uh, it's not your turn yet. Your names will be announced over the speaker. Just wait until then. Okay. Uh, well, I think round one is humans. So, I think fire is the way to go. And I think we have fire. We have fire. Cool. Mm. All right. Hey Spoon, uh, you missed me absolutely nailing the um, the crane mini game at the beginning of this chapter. First try. Uh, no, uh, no embarrassment or getting turned around or um, accidentally moving characters where they're not supposed to be yet at all none absolutely flawless gameplay uh it's not your turn yet your names will be announced over the speaker just wait until then shit okay hang on there's something we have to do i forgot you two wait here until it's time because I, I don't think you just wait that's right, we're gonna talk to Johnny first. Oh, <laughs> you again. Ouch, what happened to your face? I just needed a little scratch, you know? So I signed up for the preliminaries and, well, I hope you guys realize what you're getting into. I don't wanna scare you, but if you can make a run for it, you should. Cloud and Aaron. Your match will begin shortly. Please make your way to the gate. Okay. I'm way too deep to back out now. Let's hope I'm right. In fact, I think it's a specific group of humans that we... I think it's the goons that we saw in the underground area. You two ready? Try not to get yourselves killed. How rude. It's actually funny, like, how quickly you earn respect around here, though. For our next match, we welcome two fighters, a young couple in the left. Talk about a bad day! The visitors' first tournament, the bad first date, and most likely their last, inexperienced as they are. Or are they? Give it up for Cloud and Eric! Woo! Get us! Go home! You suck! My. Okay. Now I'm mad. What if Wall Market's own? A renowned master of beasts. Will his pet make a meal of our two challenges? Shit, it's beasts. 
They've already been given their appetizers. Their hunger for flesh and fear is unquenchable. The demon dogs of hell. The Sanguine Stalkers! Okay, so it's round two of these You brought animals? Oh? First timers, huh? There's no rule that says you gotta fight man to man. We're in for a treat, ladies and gentlemen. Who will prevail in this brutal contest between man and beast? This could be over in an instant, so don't even blink. Without further ado, the fourth match of the first round begins now! Now go! <laughs> Oh well, we'll still wipe the floor with them. What a completely unexpected turn of events! And the winners of our match are Cloud and Eren! Well, that's one win down. Go team! What's wrong? The rules don't make sense. Yeah, true. But maybe it'll be better in the next match? Nah, wouldn't bet on it. Better to expect the worst. Uh, it's not your turn yet. Your names will be announced over the speaker. Just wait until then. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, so... Oh, wait. Cloud and Aerith, your match will begin shortly. Great, let me rest Please at a bench make your first. Way to the gate. All right, I think if we go in here, um, the person we just beat up is like hanging out. Yep. Well, that was some bullshit. <laughs> Guess I better start looking for a new job. Guess I better start looking for a new job. Jeez. Sorry, man. That's what they call beginner's luck. But the next match won't be so easy. Ready to rock? Just remember, try not to die. So I've been watching One Piece. For the second match in our spectacular semifinals, fresh from their first date with death, I present the lucky couple. We're like unlucky for the rest of us. Give it up once again for Cloud and Aerith. Couple my ass! What the hell you two trying to pull? You assholes cost me a fortune. Yeah, yeah. Their opponents, screamers in this backyard. Thieves and killers through and through. Two criminal for common criminals. The worst of the worst. Ladies and gentlemen, check your pockets because they may have already robbed your blind. The most contemptible sons of bitches this side of war market. Bex Benefits. There we go. Okay, you gotta suck yeah. it up. Yeah. 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 The 
could not have branded his approval! This is ridiculous. The odds are overwhelmingly stacked against them. This could be a real bloodbath. So I implore you, ladies and gentlemen, don't look away, or you may miss the best part. The second match of the Corneo Cup semifinals begins now! He is a VTuber. Well, we have fire equipped. We're fine. So it's my turn? Come on, bring her. Oh shit, Eric is actually running low on MP. Whoops. Got a little carried away there. I think we have like an MP drain. Yeah, soul drain. That it? I'll take that. Get him. It doesn't do much unless they're staggered, but hey, any little bit helps. This one's for you. You can do it. I got you. You little freaking believable! What the hell did I just see? It was two against, uh, I don't remember how many exactly, but a lot! But somehow, the winners of our match are... Once again, Cloud and Aerith! Woohoo, we did it! That kid's really something. Well, of course he is. I did give him a massage, you know. His palm told quite the tale. He's cheated death more than a few times. Hmm. So is half the people in this town. Anyway, we're both still alive. Call it. <sighs> there you go again. One of these days, your luck is going to run out. When I fall from grace, maybe I'll land in your parlor once more. Jeez. That is one mistake I will never repeat. <laughs> you gotta admit, Andy, the way he moves is totally amazing! Andy! <sighs> Next up, the big finale. Yeah. I thought you'd be happier. Just thinking about what we might face next. But you know, we've made it this far. I'm sure we can handle anything they throw at us. All right, um, let's rest at the bench. <laughs> and we're actually, we're, we might be in trouble for this Aerith. next round. The final match will begin shortly. Aerith is way lower Please on MP than I intended her to be. And just a reminder, since we're playing hard mode, we can't use items, so I can't give her any ethers. Resting at benches only heals um, HP, not MP. Um, and we kind of need magic for this next round. So um, we're going to have to figure out what we're gonna do okay we don't want elemental on anyone for this because um this next fight deals with changing elements um hmm. 
You know what? Let's put wind on cloud. We'll keep both HP and MPs up. <clears throat> Okay, that's about what we're going to be able to do there. She has fire and lightning. I think we need ice, though. So we have ice and lightning on Aerith, and we have fire and wind on Cloud. We used Faraga a few too many times. You know, I've never actually played with this game's photo mode, which I love photo mode in games. Look at Cloud, he's he's already posing. Hey Riki, he's doing his best lightning from the cover of Final Fantasy XIII. Okay, anyways, um... <clears throat> <laughs> not bad, not bad. Okay. Um So we might be in a spot of trouble here. Does this mean I don't got to play dead no more? Does this mean I don't got to play dead no more? Damn, you two are really something else. I could use that kind of muscle in my game. Damn, you two are okay, really they all something have one else. I could use that kind of muscle in my game. Yeah, I love photo mode in games, but I haven't played with so one in this one. Hungry. Fire Emblem Engage has a photo mode, but it's like, it's very underwhelming. I'm not impressed with it. Man, it re it's too restrictive. You guys are pretty good. It's the final match. You good to go? All right. Well, ready as we're gonna be, I guess. Got a lot of money riding on you two. Win it for me. Ladies and gentlemen, our time together is almost over. Tonight's thrilling Corneo Cup. Filled with unprecedented upsets and drama, has only one match to go! <laughs> we know. We're just as disappointed as you are. But ladies and gentlemen, all good things must come to an end. So let's celebrate by getting so damn loud, they'll hear us up on the play! Yeah! Come on! Once more. The sweethearts who surprised us with upset after spectacular upset. The power couple with the boundless love for bloodshed. The champions of Madame M, Cloud, and Aaron! These guys are good hype men. Oh no! With countless kills to their name, along with a handful of maimings, the deadly duo that takes up the trash with a mob of vengeance. The electric executioners, Chocobo Sands champions, Cuddy and Sleepy. I forgot about this fight. I forgot that this is round three. The one I'm thinking of is after this. Oh, we're in trouble. More like cheating. <laughs> I guarantee to go down in history! I did want Elemental after all, The but... final match of the Corneo Cup begins now! <laughs> Steady. Don't mind me, I'm just being a coward. And I wasted my ATB. So it's my turn. Okay. 
Okay. You know what? We are. Oh, shit. Well, we're gonna be a little dumb here. Let's get serious. You gotta spend money to make money, right? Maybe Thundaga's unnecessary. You jittery? My turn. Damn it. Ah. Keep it together. Shit. Okay, well, uh, that could have gone better. I was so confidently incorrect about this one. Oh man. Well, if we die here, we know what to do, right? But I don't think we're going to. You okay? Cloud still has plenty of MP. Uh, I can't believe you. What the? Okay. Um. Oh, hey, we can summon. I think we want to save the summon for the next. One. Shit. Ah. Ha, ha. Well, you know what, uh, what's important is that we try it, right? Okay, um, so, let's do that a little differently. <clears throat> um, so we're gonna, we are actually going to set Elemental Materia. And we are not going to do what we Man, just did. You proved me wrong. You guys are pretty good. It's the final match. You good to go? I've got a lot of money riding on you two. Win it for me. Ladies. Okay, and we're gonna skip this cutscene because we've already seen it. Much better. I can't believe it! And the winners of the Corneo Cup, the deadly and dynamic duo, Cloud and Everest! My condolences. Oh, you're taking this rather well. I was looking forward to a little temper tantrum. You bet it all on a toss. Sometimes you get burned by Lady Luck. 
Every coin has two sides. You're right, of course. Even if they are both the same. <laughs> Later. And now, I believe I have a prize to collect. Sorry. The madam will have to wait. The Don's demanding that we tack on one more match, it seems. What? If they win out, then you get paid in full. Now hold on just a goddamn minute! His call, not mine. <laughs> now that that's over, we can go save Tifa. So we'll head back to Madame M's, get you changed, and then it's off to Corneo's. Right. Sorry to be the bearer of bad news, but you still have one fight left. What do you mean? The crowd loved your show a little too much. People are placing hefty bets, much heftier than you can possibly imagine. Corneo's going to milk this for as much as he can. Meaning what? You face and defeat Corneo's fighter of choice, and only then will you be declared winners of the tournament. Hey, that wasn't the deal! Don't you think I know that? <laughs> you greedy bastard! Scum-sucking piece of shit festering asshole! <sighs> but that's the way it is. Corneo's the one who makes the rules around here. But if you win this match, Corneo will have to accept your victory. And the crowd will make sure he does. Yeah, same. So this is the last one? <laughs> I sure hope so. Well, um... So... This next fight, um, I'm probably going to get slaughtered, not gonna lie. Um, Aerith is still painfully low on MP. We did nothing to fix that. But, hey, that's the fun, that, that's the fun of hard mode, right? Um, so we're going to put... <sighs> Aerith has lightning right now, so we'll put fire and ice on cloud. Okay, um... Both of these I still need for just in case. Parry instead fast block, I need... Okay, we have HP up and MP up. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're going to have to deal with what we have. Uh, we have Bahamut, which is nice. Um, hopefully we're able to actually summon him in this in this one. Um, we do not want Elemental. But we are going to want Wind. Okay. We have the maximum boost we can possibly get. She has Carbuncle. I don't think Carbuncle is going to do much to help. Um, we'll, we'll, ha we'll give her Leviathan. Yeah, okay, so Bahamut and Leviathan both do non-elemental damage, which is what we need. Okay, um, I'm going to save. I'm going to make a manual save really quick. Okay. I have a bunch of manual saves before, like, certain parts of the game. That's the wrong way. I've been working here a long time, but this has never happened before. Gonna be one hell of a match. Well then, you sure fixed my wagon. 
Do you two have any idea how much those mechs cost me? <laughs> sure you got time to shoot the shit with me? Don't think you do. Damn. Well then, you sure fix my wagon. I love how he I love how he squeezed his mechs into this room. <laughs> Just so good. Watching you guys fight gave me goosebumps. Hope your next match is even better than the last. Ready to kick ass? All right, bonus it's not match. Even here about we come. The money anymore, man? I just want you guys to win it all. Show them what you got. Well, we're gonna certainly try. Tonight's Corneo Cup has been a spectacle like no other. And we share your disappointment, ladies and gentlemen, when we told you that it was coming to an end. But nobody felt it more keenly than one time Corneo, who has decided that a bonus match is in order. Participating in this match will be this evening's leading lights, the dynamic duo that has crushed all competition thus far, Cloud and Aaron. Set free tonight for your entertainment! The secret star of Don Corneo's stellar stable! Enter the Hell House! Huh? Oh, this fucking fight. What a cute little domicile. It's just... a house. It's no ordinary house. The manifestation of pure evil versus the most badass couple this side of Midgar! Have you ever seen a fight more incredible, more epic? You have not! No, sir, you have not! They'll be singing songs about tonight for generations to come! Keep your eyes glued to the action, ladies and gentlemen! The Cup's final, final battle begins now! All the battle is joined! Okay. Everybody, I can tell you this bonus match will not hit the point! I'm waiting. This complex boss that is up at the top, the meanest of the knee. I'm just gonna keep doing this. Okay. Fuck our MP. Oh my fuck, they summon Tom Berries in hard mode? Oh no. Ah, 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 ha, 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 ha. Um. And the winner, the man-eating monstrosity, the <laughs> hell, the hell house. The, <laughs> the brave and beautiful cloud and Aerith would be champions reduced to food for the beast. We will never forget your sacrifice. <sighs> Yeah, um, cursed is a bit of an understatement. I didn't expect the fucking Tonberries. They have that one hit KO move. Goosebumps! Hope your next match is even better than the last. Ready to kick ass? It's not even about the money anymore, man. I just want you guys to win it all. Show them what you got! 
Okay. Um, <clears throat> this will not be where our run ends, I promise. This is stupid, and I'm sorry. Um, I want to make this more interesting, but at the same time, uh... actually, you know what, Aerith, make your arcane ward. Summon gauge is, is, is filling up. <clears throat> we might just do it yet. Like I said, I'm uh, I'm sorry that this tech is a little annoying. Alright, we got it pressured. So now it has a barrier on. No. Chair Salvo Deluxe. Ah. 
Shit, I have fire. Oh, it switched elements anyways. Okay, my ATB gauge has been slowed, so that's that, that's super. Um, the house still has a fucking barrier. Time waste of MP. Cool. Yes! Okay, we staggered the house. Actually, no. I'm not gonna waste Aerith's MP on that. I healed myself, didn't I? It's okay, we got this. We're here. That's that's another Tom Berry. Nope, let's not stay too close. Yeah. It's it, it's it's hangry. It's hungry. It needs a munch. Okay, sorry, Aerith. Uh We've been trying to build up your MP, but... Sorry, Aaron. You'll feel better in a second. Why don't you lead the way? Let's do this. Ah, ha, ha, ha. I, uh, I hate this. <clears throat> I mean, I hate to I hate Tom Berry's in the best of circumstances. It's okay. We got we we got like halfway there this time. Um, we can we can do this. Um, I'm going to step away for a moment. Um, I will be right back. I won't make you listen to that dude clap. I'll be right back.
Okay. Okay, we're gonna do it. We're gonna beat this house. Watching you guys fight gave me goosebumps. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. Match is even better than the last. I hope so too, Ready my to friend. Yes. Even... I can't skip this. Anymore, man. I just want you guys to win it all. Show them what you got. Okay. We have Tonberries, and we have the house. Tonight's Corneo Cup has been a spectacle like no other, and we share your. I'm gonna skip this. I'm sorry. Okay, let's try this again. I'm Okay. Cool. We don't have to worry about the Tom Berries for now. Okay, Aerith, uh, give me an Arcane Ward. Okay, now we have wind. <clears throat> oh, she's not fucking, she's not in the ward. Bring it. And already I'm done. Come on. It looks like the hell house is going to neighborhood get together. Our lucky couple's been invited to the story. Oh, nice. Get him! It is a cute house, I just hate it. Don't you want to gather up all those in the world of the little guys and cut them and never let go? What the? Yeah, send it to me on this point. Bring it. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, so it is like the Hell House. Like intentionally. Oh, that's great. I like that house call is just it jumps on you. Okay, we have it staggered. And okay, now it's gonna do its form change. Actually, Aerith, drain it. I should have had her drain it while it was staggered. More Tom Berries. Okay, there, we got rid of the Tom Berries again. Okay, Aerith needs health. Get 
transforming party is putting down up to the Aerith is at least getting in some damage while it's up there. Oh my god, so I'm about to, about to die. Maybe I should pull out the summon. I kind of want to save it until it's staggered again, but... Housing Rush. Wait, Aerith, you have prayer. And I don't have you use it. Prey just lets you heal without using MP. We're almost there. We almost had it staggered. Yes! Okay, Aerith, while it's staggered, Soul Drain. Oh hell yeah. 30 30 MP from one from one go. That was worth it. Tom Berries again. Okay, we got the Tom Berries. Lay down your ward, Aerith. What a cruel yeah. hit by the hellhouse! There's no way that didn't hurt! Fuck. Enjoy the ride! Okay, you know what? I don't. Shit, I don't have enough ATB to summon. Okay. I think I, I think we have this in the bag though. <clears throat> Aerith, I'm sorry. I don't want to waste your MP, but I need I need some I need some heals. If we're having this much trouble with the house, the final boss of this the, the final boss is gonna be real fucking hard. Oh, Aerith just got killed by a Tom Mary, didn't she? Or wait, no. It wasn't a Tom Mary. 
Be careful. Where are these chairs going? I think it ate her. I don't know. I wasn't paying attention. Ah, oh, fuck. Aerith has prayer that I can't use because she doesn't have any ATB. Okay. Oh, there are Tom Berries. I know I have limit, but I'm saving it for when it's staggered. Okay, and of course the Blizzaga didn't hit. Okay, we have prayer. They both have limit, and actually Aerith's limit Stay strong and carry is helpful. A heroic move by Aerith actually provides a point for her partner. Leave with that healing wind. Let it wash over you. Restore you inside and out. I actually don't know what to do about this stupid barrier. Let's get a summon. I need two ATB gauges to summon Bahamut. Great. Aerith, you can hit it from there. No, you can't. Okay, um, can Aerith's- nope, we both need two ATB to summon, and there are Tom Berries. Thankfully, as long as they don't use their one-hit kill move, they're not too hard to take care of. Aerith, I need you to thunda- you can't thundaga. Shit, I used too much of your MP again. Alright, we're getting there, folks. They all see 
Stagger it so I could use my limit. Okay, so I'm going to let Aerith's ATB finish filling, I'm going to have her pray, and then when Clouds finishes filling, we're going to summon uh, Bahamut. Summon Bahamut. Do your thing. Okay. Is there a fucking sweeper in here? The, oh, wait, what, what the fuck? Because safety is not guaranteed to you. None of us may make it out of here alive. Okay, and Bahamut needs two full ATB gauges to actually do anything. Cloud. Heal yourself, please. We're almost there, guys. Aerith is dead. Okay. Bahamut. Please turn the tides. That hardly did anything because it had the barrier up. Well, that sucks. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. It's okay. Heaven's word, ha, ah, that's Final Fantasy IV. How are we doing, everyone? Yes, you are. I need Cloud to fucking wake up. Okay, actually, wait. I have Raise. I have a Ri- I have a Rise. I'm just gonna use a Rise. Fuck it. Okay, and we have Aerith's limit again. Let the wind correct you. I should have just used raise. Whatever, we're fine. 
We're fine, we're fine. Okay. You'll see. Oh, apparently it didn't work. Okay, I know I said I wanted to save it until it staggered, but... Let's dance, asshole. Oh! Fuck, it put the barrier up right when we started. Heaven's word again. Okay, I shouldn't use this one. Come on, we got this. We got this. was the hardest fight in the game so far. <laughs> Okay, chat, we did it. Oh my gods, against all odds, we did it. Oh, I'm, I'm shaking. <laughs> Sorry. Um... Okay. <sighs> there you are. I've been looking for you two. So Madam M wanted me to give you a message. She says you guys did pretty damn good and that you should swing by her shop when you're done here. Got it? I was also hoping you might be interested in a few more matches here at the Coliseum. Big events like the Corneo Cup are pretty sporadic, but there's always action if you want to get a piece. Haha, <laughs> let's not and say we did, yeah. Okay. Oh, could I take on a soldier and win? Hmm. Okay. Um, well, we're still gonna push through until we finish the chapter. 
Um, that Hell House fight was way more than it should have been. Why did it summon Tom Berries? Why? That's so mean. I went the wrong way. Yeah, we're gonna. Yeah, Andreas, show who. Whatever. That's actually the best. That's my favorite part of the game. It's my favorite mini game. Oh my gods. <sighs> okay. We have a little more bullshit we have to wade through, but nothing quite like that. You're here. Good. I have everything I need to get started. Just one thing before we do. You're the Cloud, right? Cloud the Merc. I'm told you did a wonderful job helping the people of Sector 5. <laughs> you have a very impressive work ethic. It's like they say, good things come to those who work. What goes around comes around, and in ways that might surprise you. <laughs> I'm gonna put Aerith in the most gorgeous dress you've ever seen. <laughs> It'll be a real jaw-dropper. All right, now that that's out of the way, once you change, you won't be able to leave town. Are you sure you're ready? All right then, let's get started. Beauty takes a lot of work and preparation. Far more than you'd know. In the meantime, let me see, let me think. There ought to be things you can only do without your friend. Now's your chance to get out and have some fun. <laughs> I can tell you're already beginning to feel at home here. Though being so new to it, I assumed you still wouldn't know how to enjoy yourself properly. <laughs> so I went and had a chat with Sam. He said he'd be happy to help you out. Hey, no one asked you to do that. But there's so much you don't know. This is the perfect opportunity for you to learn the ways of the world and man the hell up. And that's enough of that. Aerith, come with me. Oh boy, I can't wait to see the dress. The dress is part of it, sure. But we'll also need to do something about that plain Jane makeup and hairdo. This is gonna take some work. Ouch. Well, I'll see you later, Cloud. Peek, and I'll poke out your eyes. Okay. <clears throat> so we still have some bullshit we have to wade through, like I said, but it's n it's not going to be anything nearly as bad as um, fighting the house. Um, I was kind of hoping that we'd be able to get through like chapter ten after this as well, but we're not going to be able to. Not tonight. We're already almost three hours in. Madam M said you'd be swinging by. Let me see if I've got this straight. You ditched your lady friend and fellow champion to have a boys' night out in Wall Market? Uh. Kidding. If I know the madam, and I do, this was all her idea. I can see why. There's no denying you're skilled with a sword. But when it comes to damn near anything else, well, can't help but have my doubts. Ain't nothing wrong with that. But then there's nothing wrong with expanding your horizons, neither. Seeking new experiences. Knowing the ways of this here world will help you to better protect her while you're in it. I reckon I got a few solid gigs for you. What do you say? You game? <sighs> yeah. Why not? <laughs> That's the spirit. You have yourself a grand time tonight, Mr. Mark. Okay, we have burning thighs. The party never stops. And... Oh no. Oh no. Okay, 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 good. Okay, Th those are the ones we wanted. Okay, we're gonna do Burning Thighs first, because that's gonna be- that's gonna be a slightly annoying minigame. Never seen you before. Wow, I've been waiting for you to show up. Thanks for coming, and welcome to our humble training hall. Jules, head trainer. If you've got some time to spare, how about a little bit of fun? Want to try taking on one of our guys? <laughs> You're not serious, are you? 
Look at him! He's a scrawny little thing. I can snap him like a twig. Now, now. I wouldn't judge this one by his muscle mass. Hey, Spoon, do you, say, do you well, remember this? If you want to give it a go, just let me know. So, you up for a round? I had me on. <clears throat> you look like a dried up old terpsichore left Excuse out me. the sun. Got no idea what you're getting into, little man. All right, enough talk. We'll settle this the tried and true traditional way. A squat off. Now, let's all see what you've got. Um, when Spoon and I used to, you know, live in the same state, um, I had her come over one night, and we just. Yeah. Um, we we stayed up all you night playing this mini game until we mastered it enough to get the trophy. Not bad at all. That's how it's done. Not the best oh shit! Game. Too fast. You've got this. Come on. I knew you could do it. Your form's looking yeah. good! Not bad at all. You've got this, yeah. come on! That's how it's done. I knew yeah. you could do it! Your form's looking good! Not bad yeah. at all. You've got this, come on! That's how yeah. it's done. Your form's looking good! You've got yeah. this, come on! Not bad at all. I knew you could do it! That's how it's done. Not bad at all. You've got this, come on! Your form's yeah. looking good! Oh, this is easy piece. It, it's the pull-ups that sucked, because those it's ones don't enough. go in the same sequence. Ah, how? how the hell did I lose to this scrawny little kid who looks like he doesn't even consume his daily recommended amount of protein? Ronnie, you know it's all about quality, not mass. You're too quick to judge people by their build. That and your overtrained ego are the main reasons you lost to our bold challenger here. Thanks for helping me teach my boys a valuable lesson. And sorry for dragging you into it. Cloud, we're all one big family here at this gym. And now you're part of it. If you're ever up for training, our doors are always open to you. Let's work together to maintain healthy minds and bodies. <laughs> Cool, okay. Next side quest, let's go. Welcome. Anything in particular you're looking for? Oh, you, oh, you might be right. the Merc I've been hearing about. I need you to help me out with my dad. His drunk ass has been at the bar for hours now. Could you bring him back here? He's probably three sheets in over at Drunkard's. <laughs> Just over there. Wait up, Cloud! Sam caught me up on everything. He said you're gonna go rescue Tifa. And to do that, you're trying to learn all about Wall Market. Bro, I know this town like the back of my hand, so I can answer all of your questions. Now, let's go knock this one out. The bar is this way, Cloud. Drunkards, here we come. Uh, Man, are we one. even allowed the to walk through eat, the door? The get. I'm Rest getting a regulars only popcorn. kind of vibe. This is the Drunkards Den, the best place in Wall Market to drink away your problems. It's mostly the same folks every night, so. Whoa, just walks in there uninvited. <laughs> Hey, old dude! Huh? Son, is that you? Did you always look so moronic? Well, well right back at you! Yeah, whatever. We're here to take you back to the store. I'm not going back! Not ever! My life is ruined! It's over! Kill me now! Come on, there's no need to talk like that, old dude. I'll help you out with whatever you need. Really? Oh, thank you, son. 
See, I made this bet with the Materia Merchant. A, a sure thing, but then I lost. And so I had no choice such a but sure to thing, steal then. my heart and surrender my precious inspiration. Your precious inspir... who with the what now? Inspiration! <laughs> Without it, there's simply no point in me ever going back to the store. Got it. I mean, I don't, I don't know. Get it, but I just need to get your <clears throat> inspiration back, right? Whatever the hell that is. Leave it to me, old dude. Uh, hey, aren't you gonna go with your friend? Uh, I went the wrong way. Oh, oh maybe not. The lights are way too bright. I know she's not supposed to see any of her customers Oh wait, no, I, I, I went the wrong way. Uh, I hate Wall Market. Hey Koopa, what's your city state? I don't even really know how people use Materia. They're just like huge orbs of something. This place looks kind of creepy, don't you think? Like maybe they practice ritual sacrifice or... Hey, wait for me! Huh? So this is it, huh? Oh no, um, in, in Final Fantasy XIV, I mean. Uh, uh, I'm here for the precious inspiration you took from the old dude. Mine's Limsa Lominza. Oh, that thing. But I didn't take it. I want it fair and square. It's mine by rights now. Well, that's true. But I tell you what. I'll consider giving it back in exchange for a favor. Uh, what you need? Something only real men can deliver. Oh uh. I need you to go and get me something from the vending machine at the end. You know what. You know. No, I don't oh, nice. think I... Wait, the sauce. The this sauce? is the sauce guy, Riki. Stop saying the sauce. <clears throat> Anyway, good luck. The time has come for me to wield my powers of assessment. I can feel it. Oh, I can feel it. I'm in for one wild ride. <laughs> hey, Topher. Welcome. Yeah, he does want that bussy. <clears throat> no, 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 we're not here for that. Yeah, I'm eventually like once our finances settle, um I'm gonna I'm gonna get back into fourteen. I love Limzillo Minza's um music. It gets stuck in my head all the time. All we gotta do is I saw the new Coliseum Why do I keep getting turned around? <laughs> you currently play, don't you, Topher? Okay, okay, I'm missing something. Uh, I hear you. So where are the shady areas? That's easy. Anywhere with a bunch of shady looking people hanging. Hey, are you really leaving me out here? You yeah. You need my knowledge and expertise to unlock the machine's secrets. That's it. That's the one. It looks like a regular old vending machine, right? But wait. <laughs> you ready for this? All right. This particular model has secret buttons. Where? Well, I can't tell you. It's a secret. 
Sometimes you just need to tap into your knowledge and expertise, like grab it and whip it out. And then you'll be able to see everything. <laughs> oh. I don't need to whip it out. I've done this before. Watch this. Whoa, look at you, bro. Huh? Is this the sauce? I don't know. Come on, bro. You know there are more hidden buttons waiting to be pushed. Oh, so this is the sauce. Neato. It, it's time. The last button. I love Yuri Lowenthal so much. The sauce! Put it away! Put it away before someone sees you! No one can know that we have it! You're the grand prize winner! Have a special prize! <laughs> Don't scare me like that! Whatever! We got what we came here for! Let's get out of here and head to the Materia guy! Hey, welcome! Yeah. <clears throat> That's the secret. Just hair cement and you'll be able to save the world. I was talking about how I used to know my way around Wall Market, and now I don't because it's been too long since I've been here. I used to replay this chapter all the time. Oh, it's you two. It's time, bro. The sauce. Could it be? Oh, it is. The sauce. The sauce. Whoa. Never thought I'd live to see the day. It's just sauce. No big deal. Don't sell yourself short. This is only given to one who is truly a man among men. Huh. I know. Damn, bro. That's why you're such an awesome dude. Oh, right. Hate to break it to you, but that thing you were looking for? Not here. It's long, long gone. You shitting me? Nope. Sorry. As I recall, the guy who runs the restaurant should have it. Ugh. Well, I guess we know where we're headed next. Come on, bro. Well, that's that. Time to polish the old orbs. Give them a spit shine so they positively sparkle. He's got to hey, polish his orbs. If you're done here, then get going already. That's why he's lying like that. He has some unpolished orbs. Hey, focus. We have work to do first. <laughs> yeah, he just has a body. Wait, his, I mean, the register is like on a thing. <clears throat> oh, hey, Shade. Talk about a busy day, huh? Oh, that is sad. Fuck Jack in the Box tacos. So really good. And it all leads back. Welcome! Feel free to take any open seats. Sorry, we're not here to eat. The Materia guy gave you something, yeah? We want it. Materia guy? Oh, you hear about that? I'm surprised. Didn't take you for the type. Let me ask you something. Either of you know anything about cooking? Nope, never cooked once. That's too bad. For some reason, my food doesn't taste nearly as good as it used to. I was hoping one of you two might be able to help me figure it out. I've narrowed it down to the fridge, the stove, or the power supply. But I'm not sure what's to blame. Man, I seriously have no idea what it could be. This sucks. I have max level materia. 
shit. <laughs> oh no. Okay, chat. Uh, do I pick stove, fridge, or power supply? Okay, fridge. You know, your fridge might be broken. Oh, whoops. Maybe it's not keeping the ingredients cold enough. That's so. You're an expert on all things ice? Okay then. Let's see if we can't fix this by fiddling with the temperature. Now that's crisp and fresh. Can't wait to cook with all these great ingredients. Here, eat up. Man, this looks great! Yeah, it's true. Stomach... pain... Oh god... It's coming up! Nothing makes the cook's heart sing like seeing the customers too stuffed to walk. Can't thank you enough. Oh, and here's a voucher along with my gratitude. Get the poor guy some medicine, will you? Drugs. <laughs> I need all the drugs right now. Out of the way. Oh, How they made or oh, what's in them? No. The streets are even more mysterious oh, than the material that inspired them. Poor Johnny. Pops of wonder. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> hey, off my doorstep, you bum. You're scaring away my customers. <laughs> Hey, you! This yours? Well... Oh, that about you you got there? Should've said something sooner. Come on in. <laughs> what is it with today? People are dropping like flies. Besides this dumbass? Ah, loads of them. I got enough outstanding orders to fill a book. I was about to leave and make some deliveries, man. Oh, I'm gonna hurl. Yeah, I can't very well leave him alone now, can I? Hey, you're not doing much. Maybe you can deliver that medicine for me. Jeez. You're what? Military or something, right? What an assumption. Then you must know a thing or two about dealing with the sick and injured. Well, I have max level cleansing materia, so. You're a lifesaver, literally. So, let me see. What needs delivery? Here, I need you to deliver these three. You'll probably find this guy sprawled out on the ground somewhere. But make sure you check his symptoms before giving him meds. You know, I. <sighs> okay, I get the idea behind um. I get the idea behind, like, my cleansing materia helping with this, but, um, the pharmacist should really be the one doing all this. Okay, he said he's gonna be sprawled out on the ground somewhere. But it's not telling us where, so... Do I see anyone sprawled out on the ground? God damn tourists taking over our favorite guys. I thought this was our town. Yeah, screw it. I'm getting to work. I'm gonna get an extra. You tell me, how's the bar been doing? No more drink. What do you say? Oh, there's a guy sprawled out on the ground. Not him, though, I guess. I think this is the guy. He has a thing above his head. Uh, that rotten, putrid smell. I'm so through. It'll never wash off. 
I've got meds. Let me take a look at you. It's gone! That horrible, pungent scent of food is finally gone! My nostrils owe you, man. Here, my way of saying thanks. Smell that fresh air! Oh, alright, that's apparently all we needed to do. looking house right and it was all like trying to kill him but then cloud was all like beep beep boo your friend fought a house a house i did yes oh hey welcome back bro better already yeah now he won't shut up anyway how did deliveries go i did about as much as i could that's fair still if you can find the time to deliver the rest you'd be doing me a pretty big favor Anyway, I promise to be worth your while. Here, I got something you're definitely gonna like. What is it? Well, it belonged to the owner of the clothing store first. Heard from the cook that you boys been running all over town looking for this. Am I right? Wait, we have? Hold up. What were we doing before all this? Oh, shit! The inspiration! Bingo! You see, all us Walmart entrepreneurs go way back. We get together for a game every night, bet all kinds of stuff. This found its way into the pool and eventually into my possession. And now it's yours, because, hey, why the hell not? It's a VIP card. Highly coveted and extremely rare. They're only given to a select few. Not having it is gonna do you much good, but... Holy mother of... No way! Bro, we gotta get to the honey... Or, I, I, I mean, drunkards on the double! Hmm. Tell the old man I said hi. All right, Obs, how you feeling? My heart is beating so fast, bro. Like it's gonna burst right out of my chest. Hey, old dude, we're back. Okay, good. Uh, who are you? You're no son of mine. I think. Ricky, how you doing? Special delivery, just for you. Oh, my inspiration! You've returned to me at long last. Yo, is that she said she's a what I think it is? Oh, you bet it is, and it was hard won. I sewed dresses day and night for those ladies until I got what I was after. A honeybee in VIP card. I knew it. Now make way for the VIP, boys. I don't want to keep my ladies waiting any longer. But first, I should pick up a gift dress. Lead the way, old dude. We are coming. All right, <clears throat> we are finally, finally getting to the part. That is why I, um, I told both of you, you need to be here. Um, for the rest of you, um, way back before I even started streaming this, um, Aubrey, Rika, and I all picked outfits for this chapter. Um, Aubrey picked Tifa's, Rika picked Aerith's, and I picked Cloud's. Um, and so we are finally getting to the portion where that's relevant. <sighs> well, thanks for bringing him back. Can't imagine what you went through. Here, you earned it. Hey, you're coming, right, bro? Well, then you should. Get ready for a real Walmart education. I'm done with this. You, you can do whatever the hell you want. I get it, bro. You're scared. It's only natural for people to fear the unknown. Uh. It's a pity you're not going to join us, but I swear to you, bro. As an aspiring Walmart connoisseur, 
I'm gonna go in there and get as much inspiration as I can handle. For you, bro. For you. Because, Cloud, you are my one true bro. Honeybee in, here I come! <laughs> inspiration, here I come! <sighs> Perfect example of how age has absolutely nothing to do with maturity. Couldn't agree more. Should probably go see Sam again. Okay. I'm your one true bro. Aww. You're my one true bro, Riki. You are my Nakama. So, tell me, what you see in our little enclave of sin and debauchery? Bet it was an eye opening experience. Nothing I haven't seen before. That it for jobs? Not exactly. I got one more favor to ask. You want to get teeth out, right? What's your angle? <laughs> Just get your ass to the Coliseum. You'll see. <clears throat> hey, Shade. Wear whatever you want. Even if society does show up, um... And judges you. Well, as long as you wear it and wear it with confidence, I think you'll be okay. Also, I don't think you would end up in the slammer. There's nothing illegal about what you'd be doing. Let me tell you, I love wearing dresses. Okay, we have to go back to the fucking Coliseum. Yeah, he should. Oh, nice. Okay. <clears throat> well, that's okay. We've been waiting for you, champ! Okay, special match. Thanks to you. Now get out there and give him a show. We're back here. At least I'm not going to fight another fucking house. Lovers of bloodshed and mayhem, your favorite champion Cloud is back in the ring. Oh, good thing I have ice. Right now, this boy may be hot, hot, hot. But look out, folks, because these dynamite challengers may just blow the champ clean off his throne. I hope you brought shades because you're about to see some fireworks. Fighters, begin! Oh my fuck, my MP is still real low. So, for those of you who haven't been here since the beginning, we are playing Final Fantasy VII Remake on hard mode because that is the final trophy I need um, before um, b before getting the Platinum. I just need to complete all chapters on hard. So, the thing about hard mode is that um, your MP does not, um, does not recover at benches, only your HP. Um, and you cannot use items. <clears throat> so, um, that has made life a lot more difficult. Um, now, I should have equipped Ice Elemental. Um, but I'm not exactly the brightest bulb in the um, in the chandelier, if you know what I mean. Okay, if I can stagger this thing though, then we will be in good shape. I won't give up. 
Okay, hooray. Oh, you got Great. Okay, well, <clears throat> this is a this is our chance to equip Ice Elemental. <clears throat> We've oh wait, I shouldn't. You, oh, I should go sit on a bench real, real quick. Oh wait, my health is maxed. Okay, never mind. Sitting at a bench would do nothing for me. We've been waiting for you, champ. Okay, let's do the fucking Bands special pat, match. Thanks to you. Now get out there and give him a show. I forgot about the Colosseum, but we have to do this in order to get the dress. Lover. I mean, outfit. It's a dress. And I thought the tonberries earlier were bad. They were bad. <laughs> what? Wait, really? But like, what if the blue car has moved? Well, good luck, and I hope you have some fun. Shit. Ah. Come on. Okay, Ice Elemental is not helping me here. Oh my fu- uh, <laughs> Yeah, me too. Oh, I don't need a rise. I want Kiraga, please. Last line. Gotta be careful. <laughs> yep. <clears throat> Just an average day in the life. It's the hair cement. Whatever. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay. 
I don't think I have enough room in a regular cure. Oh, I do. We're good. <clears throat> Today I learned that bombs are not weak to ice in this game. All good. No, 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 no. than the guns he's packing okay <clears throat> I think that's it nice going champ you were in fine form today here's your cut you earned it not here for the cash tell me about Tifa ah Tifa she's something of a bombshell herself huh girl keeps in shape and boy, does it show. Hey. Just making an observation, that's all. Anyway, seems like you're serious about getting the poor girl out of her predicament. I could tell easy enough by the way you fought back there. Cut to the chase. Well, you helping or not? Never said I would. Opposite, even. Getting mixed up in other people's business isn't my way. Plus... As you are now, I reckon you could ride to a rescue without anybody's help. And that's the truth. You've changed since you first rolled into this here town. For the better. <laughs> At any rate, I've said all I'm gonna say. Your lady friend ought to be done changing by now, am I right? She ain't no Tifa, but she is a firecracker. Keep her waiting too long and she might just blow up in your face. Okay, HP restored. We're down to 2 MP. Um, I don't think there's any more fighting this chapter. But I said that earlier. Okay. <clears throat> I think that's it for the side quest too. All right, Obs, you still here? Fantastic. Okay, Riki, you still here? Rika said she is not here. Sweet. I'm just making sure, because the fruits of our labor are finally about to come to fruition. Yeah, I know. We have to stop the whole show because Rika's not here. <clears throat> I got turned around. We're, we're just going back to Corneo's place. I don't know why I, I came this way. Oh wait, we're not going to Corneo's place, we're going to Madame M's. Oh, 
you. You're not allowed to see me at work. But there's something I wanted to get. I swear. Okay. Here we go. Let's check in on Aerith. Johnny has an, agur an, an aneurysm. Tifa, she, I, well, Tifa, good night, Spoon. She, I don't... Damn you, breath. you're missing the best part. What about Tifa? I heard Corneo was gonna audition new girls soon. And Tifa's... Tifa's gonna be... I just... I, I don't know what to do. It's what all I good. Do? I'll just link you the VOD when it's ready. Hey, Cloud! Bro, I can call you bro, right? Nope. Just want to say, bro, that I'm totally relieved that you're looking out for Tifa. So, like, how'd you get so strong anyway, bro? I said. The way you were fighting was just like poetry and violence. Speed, speed, whoosh, whoosh, you know? I really wish I could be just like you. My problem is that I tend to overthink and overanalyze everything. So, bro, do you have any advice? Well, this is it for me. Oh, whoops. Call I did not crazy, mean to cut him off. But, uh, I have a feeling that I'll just be getting in the way. Go find Aerith at Madame Mims. Tell her to wait for me there when she's done. Think you can handle that? Yes, sir. <sighs> yeah. Hey, we're gonna go in and we're gonna talk to Rika's boyfriend again. And she's not even here to see it. Oh, sorry, what'd you say? You again? Got that letter of approval you mentioned. Hmm? You know that's only good for women, right? Yeah, yeah sad it's for indeed. Aaron. Who? Oh, that girl you were with. Sorry to hear that. Well, either way, you're stuck out here, pal. I can't let you in. I wasn't asking for permission. Huh? Wouldn't try it if I were you. Trust me, you don't want to screw with the Don. If you even think about causing any trouble, he'll make sure someone pays for it. And that someone might wind up being the girl you're trying so hard to break out. Or it could wind up being someone you've never even met before. Get it? You're in the Don's world now. Anyway, you've got some time yet. The audition won't start for a while. If you're sure you want to go through with this, then bring the girl and the letter. But if I were you, I wouldn't. Okay, well, here it is. Let's see the results of Chapter 8. so gaudy and impossible to move in. Uh, uh, yeah. Cloud? Uh, uh, excuse me. Huh. Hey, wait a minute. Did Johnny forget to give you my message? The one asking me to stay put? No, I got it. I was worried about you. I'm starting to think this place is more dangerous than we thought. Who knows what they'll ask you to do in this audition? No way in hell I'll let you go in there by yourself. By myself? Oh, don't worry. I wasn't gonna. Come on, you'll see. See what, exactly? According to Madam M, you've caught the eye of a certain fabulous someone, and they'd like to meet in person. Huh? 
All right, OBS, it's time. Look at you, all dolled up and fabulous. Where are you headed? So we saw Tifa, we saw Aerith, and finally it's time to see Cloud. They did not know how to animate her dress. Why are we here? To see the honeybee inns Andrea Rodea and convince him to give you his stamp of approval. You said you didn't want me going alone, right? Well, with Andrea's help, you can join me. It'll be fun. And honestly, I think you'll look pretty cute in a dress. What? It's pretty rare for Andrea to take a personal interest in someone. At least, that's what Madame M said. Trust me, this is gonna work out great. Uh... Come on! Don't you want to save Tifa? Wait. No can do, Cloud. This is our plan, and you'll learn to love it. So, here's how I think we should approach him. Madam M said Andrea was a man who'd give anyone a fair chance to win him over. So I say we march right up to him, explain the situation, and see where that gets us. Sound good? The audience is part of the story. We have to help make it a great show. Hey. Good evening. Welcome to the entertainment extravaganza that is the Honeybee Inn. We're here to see Andrea Rodea. You must be Mr. Cloud. He's waiting for you. Mr. Cloud? I've been instructed to send you through without delay, sir. Please, make your way to the stage in the back. What stage? The one in the back, sir. Straight through those doors and down the hall. <laughs> yeah, he kind of does. He looks like a he looks like a little celebrity regardless. There, I took a screenshot. Okay. Here we go. I've dreamt of this moment. The honey bee is hmm? And here's the man of the hour. Chosen by Andrea himself, our honored guest. Should I do the practice session or should I just go in? Just go? Okay, let's do it. Oh boy, here we go. Cloud? Mm. Darling, I had no idea. <laughs> I apologize if I'm, if I'm rusty at this chat. It's um, been a long time. Sit tight until Andrea takes the stage. Look at his muscles. Aw, he's flushing. <laughs> Okay. Working. 
Okay, sorry. Uh, my headset just completely shat out on me. Um, so I apologize. We're gonna do, we're gonna do this. Sorry about that. It's working now, so. Welcome to the Honeybee Inn, Cloud. You seek my approval, do you? I understand. But those who crave my favor must first prove that they know how to move. Follow my lead. Yes, I will transform you into a vision of beauty. Now, without further ado, let us begin! Thank <laughs> you. 
<laughs> you were born for this. Gorgeous. Come. <laughs> Perfection. True beauty is an expression of the heart. A thing without shame, to which notions of gender don't apply. Don't ever be afraid, Cloud. Okay. The show today blew my mind. Oh, now we're Aerith again. Hey, look at me! I can dance too. How much did you drink Just tonight? Come over I here. can't help it. It was a drink. You can talk. Was it planned oh, from the start? Well, probably not. Now Did that was a bit of a surprise. Loud? No. I'm gonna perform on that. stage this is awesome. Yoo-hoo, Cloud. Hello? Aerith to Cloud, come in. Aerith to Cloud, come in. Okay, that's the last one, it seems. <clears throat> Not a word. Not even one? No! But you're so pretty! <laughs> Cloud looks real, real good all dolled up. And now, what photo mode was, was invented for, right? Ah, this photo mode sucks. Is the spice of life. Hey, watch the way you walk. You it's a I wanna I wanna get a photo with Aerith. Come on. But one must behold such flowers from the hey, Aerith! <laughs> yeah. <sighs> The flower that under the moon. Oh, come on, I, I, I just want to get a photo with Aerith, come on. Okay, okay, whatever. Why does Aerith stand so far back? I just wanted to get a photo with Aerith. That is one hot chick. Thanks. Hey, maybe here in front of this lantern. You can't, like, make them stand close enough together for it to be, like, a good photo. Filter. Ooh. Filters. Ah. 
Okay, photo mode's not gonna cooperate with me. <clears throat> I like how Cloud's like, I don't dance, and then he like does the whole fucking shebang. from Andrea Rodea and Madam M. That ought to do the trick, right? You serious? <laughs> Is there a problem? I hope you know what you're in for. Oh, we'll be fine. If you say so. Come on. The two of you here for the audition? Second floor, at the very end of the walk. And don't go poking your nose in where it doesn't belong. Yeah. It's Madame M's girl, ain't it? Man, she's hot. That Andrea's girl? I'd let her do things to me. Oh my. Room's at the end. Keep walking. So dizzy. Gas. Uh, uh. Come on. Damn it. Cloud. Hey, pretty ladies, too. Feeling a little light headed? Better can I have that? Let's say we escort you to the parlor, so you can make yourself more comfortable. Let's get this show on the road. Where are you taking us? Come on now, not too lazy. Hey, what do you think, asshole? The hell? You want to throw down the Corneo's girl? So if you leave a mark on him, you ain't getting off with a one. I know. Managed to wrangle some real lovers this time, though. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Hey, can you hear me? Oh. Tifa? Yes? You okay? Mm-hmm. Good. Wait a minute. Cloud? Is that you? Oh my god, that makeup! And that dress! Nailed it, I know, thank you. Moving on. <laughs> <laughs> You good? Yeah, bit woozy, but I'll manage. <sighs> hey, Tifa, how you doing? Uh, okay. Oh, right. I'm Aerith, a friend of Cloud's. We were worried and thought we'd come help you out. Uh, thanks? Cut the chatter. We gotta leave. Huh? Right now. Uh, no, not until I got what I came for. What? So... After we made it back to the slums, some guys came around asking all kinds of questions. So I did some digging. And found out they were Corneo's men. Right. They were interested in Avalanche. But I couldn't figure out why. So I thought I'd come and ask the man himself. Seriously? Thought if I could find a way in and get some one-on-one -on -one time. But then I realized I'd only be one of three candidates. And that if he didn't pick me, it would all be for nothing. Then your worries are over, aren't they? Because the other two candidates are right here, right? Uh, right. So yeah, if we're all in on it, then nothing can go wrong. Uh, I guess not. You? Me? Cloud? Makes no difference who gets chosen, does it? I don't know, Aerith. It feels wrong getting you involved in all this. Don't even bother trying to talk her out of it. Oh, Cloud gets me. Took you long enough.
So what happens now? I think they'll call for us when it's time. This room gives me the creeps. Nailed it. I know. Thank you. Moving on. I love him. Jeez. Awful taste in music. Now ladies, listen up. I'm sure you're still feeling a bit woozy, but tonight's audition's about to begin. Head out the door to the left and up the stairs. Come on, ladies. Let's hustle. All right, guys. Let's do this. <laughs> do you want to do this? <clears throat> I mean, he doesn't exactly get much of a choice now, does he? Do this thing. Introducing Walmart's most eligible bachelor, the one and only Don Corneo. Ladies? Uh. Nice. Very nice. <laughs> Whichever one shall I pick? Mm. Oh. Shall I pick you? <laughs> or maybe you? Yeah. Days? And tomorrow's, or the day after's, if the dawn takes a shine to you. Pathetic. Huh? Hey, which one of you said that? Was it you? Ooh, you got a mouth on you. I'm going to enjoy breaking it in. Uh... Today's lucky lady is the big bone girl. Huh? <laughs> Still playing hard to get? I can dig it. <laughs> oh, yeah. The leftovers are all yours. Yeah! yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, ladies. Y'all coming with me. <sighs> Don't be shy, little kitten. Shimmy on over and give daddy some sugar. No need to play coy. Nobody here but you and me. Oh, you're even cuter than I thought. Back off. Ooh! <laughs> this kitten's got claws! I love it! <laughs> what was that? Don't you worry, your pretty little head. Just a picture to preserve the moment. And to ensure you don't do anything inappropriate like say no. Asshole. Oh, praise me more! <laughs> Don Corneo is hey, the yo, biggest, fellas. he gives the biggest we got dick. Guests, and y'all got first crack at entertaining them. I fucking love how this, how this scene works. Courtesy of the ever-generous Don Corneo himself, never forget, the Don provides. Yeah. Corneo! <laughs> so, ladies, ready to... Get to it? Yeah. 
I guess I'm good to go whenever. How about you, Tifa? Hmm. Four guys between us. Okay. Let's not keep Cloud waiting. Right. Wait. I know you. The Colosseum! <laughs> what the hell? Get down! Don't <laughs> oh, you stupid! Wait. Good job, Eric. It was nothing compared to you. <laughs> Andrea filled me in on the situation. I come bearing gifts, your gear. I'll do what I can to clean this up. Just finish the job. Uh, thank you! Oh no, it's only Cloud who does the thing. Okay, let's go rescue Cloud. Corneo's room, right? Leslie is a good boy. Better hurry. Man, I'd love to spend some quality time with cuz like that. Bet they're going at it right now. Lucky bastard. What are you doing? Can you here? take over for Let me? me? Oh, get him! Oh, finally. I don't have to worry about fucking MP. Cloud does the fucking anime thing in the next scene, and it's the best. And we're safe. <laughs> Don't stop! Tell me what you a bad boy I bastard. am. <laughs> yes, yes, I am. Here I come, baby. <laughs> 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 hey, who the hell gave you permission to do that? One of you get in here and teach this bitch some manners! Sorry, but your boys had to learn some manners too. What the? Cloud, your clothes! <laughs> oh, he didn't do the anime thing. Oh? I'm a liar. So you're a man, huh? What are you three up to? We'll ask the questions. Like, why'd you have men in Sector 7 asking about Avalanche? Man. Huh? Don't know what you're talking about. Don't play dumb with me. Let's try again. Why did you have men in Sector 7 asking about Avalanche? Spill the beans, or... I'll cut them off. All right, all right, I'll talk, I'll talk! Uh, some guy with a gun for an arm! I was paid to find him! Paid by who? I can't tell you that! They'd hunt me down like a dog! Well, you better. Cause if you don't, I'll rip them off! <laughs> It was the director of public security, Heidegger! It was Heidegger! Shinra! And what were they planning? Some things are better left unsaid, you know? See, I'm not so sure they are. Better keep talking. 
or I'll smash them. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you got me. I could never say no to a sexy girl. Since Avalanche blew up two reactors, Shinra's decided they ought to stamp them out, home base and all. And I mean, stamp out. By targeting the support pillar and blowing it up. The pillar? Did I stutter? The plate will come crushing down. It'll be Sector 6 all over again. I'm sure you've been there and seen the wreckage for yourself. So you know exactly what Sector 7's gonna look like. They wouldn't. Come on, guys. We gotta go. Before you do... No. Please, this won't take long. As everyone knows, villains only divulge their plans in a certain situation. But what is that situation? <laughs> All right, when they're faced with certain death, when they think they've already won, or when they've lost their mind. Oh, I didn't get to choose. Oh, I'm sorry! Time's up! The answer lies... In the sewers. <laughs> Enjoy the sights and smells. <laughs> and that's it for chapter nine. Are we on the schedule? <laughs> the Turks are on top of it. Yes, there will be no delays. Please, Mr. President. I am asking you to reconsider. No, begging. The Sector 7 Undercity is home to more than 50,000... <sighs> Director Twisty. At least let us issue a warning, sir. The stench of the Director's cowardice fills the room yet again. <clears throat> Breathe. Progress requires sacrifice. Learn to live with it. <clears throat> All right. And so once this cutscene ends, we are going to end the stream. Oh boy. Who do I pick? Where in the... <laughs> he still has some mascara on. Damn it, Reeks. Alright, well... Who do I choose to wake first? Who am I more worried about? Well, we will have to find out next stream. Ooh, thank you all so much for bearing with me through all of that. <clears throat> fighting a house. Fighting bombs. That was a lot, but hey, we made it through and we have officially crossed the halfway point of the game. We just finished chapter 9, and there are now 9 chapters remaining. So we've done it. Um, I don't know when I will stream chapter 10. Um, <coughs> oh, excuse me. I don't know when I'll stream chapter 10, but whenever I do, I will let you, I will let you all know. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Have a wonderful night.